A Boca Raton woman whose dog was killed by her neighbor's pit bull says more needs to be done to stop vicious dog attacks. It happened in a neighborhood just east of Meisner Park. News Channel 5's Rochelle Ritchie tonight with how a county ordinance will give the dangerous dog another chance. Rochelle? Well, Jim, the county ordinance on animal attacks says that an animal can only be labeled dangerous after its first offense and vicious after its second. So basically, this dog would have to attack or kill again before it could be euthanized, leaving the community vulnerable for another tragedy. It's really uh, emotional, and I just feel so bad for him. This is Clarence, a 13-year-old curly-haired black poodle whose last moments of life came to a tragic end when he was mauled to death in his backyard. It's horrific, and it's hard to get the vision of it or the tape of it out of your mind. His owner, who didn't want to show her face or use her name, says it was a cool day last week when she and Clarence decided to go outside and enjoy the weather, but the calm of the day quickly changed. Next thing I heard a big rumbling on the side of my house. The owner says the pit bull jumped this fence and landed here in her backyard. She says she and her nine pound poodle were about right here when the dog committed her vicious attack. Pinned my little Clarence to the ground and just kept gnawing on him. Animal Care and Control tell us the pit bull is named Roxy and she has a history. Since the attack, the owner of Roxy and two other pit bulls have moved out. While the dogs may be out of her neighborhood, she fears the trio may become a danger to others because the county ordinance is not as protective as she first thought. I'm relieved for myself and for my neighbors, but it's just pushing the problem somewhere else. The ordinance says an animal must be considered vicious in order to be euthanized, but because this is Roxy's first attack since the ordinance changed in 2008, she can only be considered dangerous. Clarence's owner and her neighbor say it's a rule that leaves the door open for more problems. I just don't understand how an animal can kill another animal, such as this dog killed my dog, and that not be considered vicious. I think it's terrible. I, I, I don't agree with it at all because vicious dogs are vicious dogs. If I had a vicious dog that killed and that attacked, it would be my responsibility, my humane responsibility to put the dog down. And the owner of the attacked animal must go through the legal process in order to have the dog labeled dangerous or vicious. Live in suburban West Palm Beach, Rochelle Ritchie, WPTV News Channel 5.